Our theme is all around the world, and each week our students will be traveling to different countries around the world, and at the end of the summer, we will have a cultural um, fair that would um, showcase all of the students' um, research and learning they have done about each country. In the beginning part of the day is academics, where we um, heavily focused on math and reading, um, and then we have some students doing some enrichment type activities with our um, partner with the 4-H extension, which is our um, gardening and stream. And afternoon portion, our students will be going into different enrichment activities, art, um, reader's theater, experiment in science, some extra steam, some total body conditioning. We're just doing an array of activities for our students in the afternoon. Fun and learning all day long. Fun and learning. So we have some um, trips coming up for our students. We um, have some activities in toward the end of the summer. So it's fun and learning all in a day. And so that's why I told the teachers to think of things that you all wanted to do in the regular year that you didn't really have enough time to do and just do it and make it fun and inviting for our students to want to come back. Um, yes, we are focusing on reading and stuff um, and mathematics and different stuff like that, but we still wanted to make it fun and engaging for the students so they can feel, so they won't feel like this is summer school, but it's summer learning where they're actually having fun while they're doing some academic stuff. But the enrichment part is something that we wanted to hone in and make sure that they are fulfilling those needs for those students.